Hi, this is Tracy Newcomb with the Rhapsody Art Barn, and I'm here today to do just a quick video about what I'm gonna do with this little step stool that I got at that sale I posted. So this has a raised cover, it's, it's fabric, but I'm hoping that maybe this pattern will show through, but I'm gonna use a dark paint, so I'm not really sure what it'll do. I already wiped it down with white lightning, and I fixed the screws were actually sticking up they had used too long of screws, so I replaced those and the fabric looks okay. It just needs to be painted. So I've got my In the Navy. I really wanna try a piece that people are obsessing over with the blue and the gold. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is do the fabric in the, in the navy blue and then the base in some sort of a gold metallic or at least the bottom in the gold metallic. I haven't really decided. And then I also have my Would You Bend trim and I may put these pieces on here like this. You just glue them on, you heat them up and glue them on and they're just little appliques that you can use. And or I've got a whole roll of this Would You Bend trim. And I'm thinking I might put around the edges if it needs it. A lot of times when you add this kind of detail, it really upgrades the piece when you're doing something like the navy and the um, lighter color or the gold, because then you can wax the details and really pop a piece to life. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. And I'm just gonna start by painting and I'll leave you on while I do some of the painting on the top of the piece here. So let me get you down there. Maybe. I don't want you falling out. There we go. So you can watch what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to take my water bottle and I'm going to wet this down all of the fabric pretty well and make sure it's all not soaking wet but, but pretty pretty damp. And it doesn't take much because my piece isn't very big. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna be using a Dixie Bell Mini Slanted. And we'll shake up our paint really well. This size here is our eight ounce, super affordable. This is only $12 and it will do a lot of furniture. So it comes with a protective coating that I actually try to paint off of as well. I'm not gonna do that today. So what I do is I grab a little paint tray and I'm just gonna put some onto my paint tray so I don't have to re-dip. And there we are. My brush is wet. My paint is ready. I only have to do the very end of the paint brush. My piece is wet and I am just going to paint right on there. You really with fabric have to, and I don't want to get my brush deep down into the paint farther than the top of the bristles, but I really want to scrub into this, this piece. So I may end up switching to a round if I can't get into the crevices. Because the pattern is raised, so I want to make sure I get into all those crevices really well. what I'm doing there and we're just painting right on top of the fabric this rich blue it's all the rage this year blue is the color of 2020 they say so we'll take I like it because when you're doing a footstool I know people are going to be putting their feet on it so I want a darker color on the top and a lighter color on the base if I'm going to do a contrast, which I am. 
so that's that. I'm just painting the top and I'll get the edges. And once I'm all done doing at least the first coat, maybe another coat, I'm gonna let that dry. Then I will show you what I've done.